Now, you may have noticed over the past couple of days since December 22nd of 2022, short exempts have been stacking up a ton on AMC. 1.4 million, 587,000, 518,000. And you also may notice that the price continues to drop. And the last thing that you might notice is that there are no shares left available to borrow and the cost to borrow is rising. What is going on, guys? Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, we have some important stuff to talk about with AMC. All I ask you to do is watch till the end of the video. If you want to like it, feel free to like the video and subscribe. Let's get into it. So, again, I started the video touching on short exempts. What exactly is is a short exempt. A short exempt refers to a short sale order that is exempt from the price test of the SEC Reg SHO. The current implementation of this regulation contains a modified version of the uptick rule, which restricts the price of short sale orders on a security whose price is falling. The current regulation allows for a comparatively small number of restrictions, and within those restrictions are an even smaller fraction of exemptions to that rule. These exceptions are intended to allow brokers to best serve their customers in panicked markets. However, certain trades are not restricted and may be labeled as short exempts. Now, if you come down here, when can a trade be marked short exempt? The short sale order is being made by a market maker in order to resolve an odd lot position. Now, if you come over here, odd lots tend to emerge in a portfolio as a result of a company announcing a reverse stock split or due to dividend reinvestment plans. What just happened with AMC? obviously the announcement of a reverse stock split but let's move on another condition in which a trade can be marked short exempt is the short seller is attempting to arbitrage between price differences within the domestic or international market with certain conditions and an odd lot order generally costs more to higher commission levels and takes longer to complete than other orders however gary gensler says this himself but if the order instead is routed to a wholesaler who has agreed to pay for it the order is not going to an exchange and is is not necessarily receiving the benefit of broader competition the wholesaler might sell to us at a better price than the best price shown to the public on the exchange but not necessarily the best price available that's because so much of the market is in dark pools or with wholesalers in dark not necessarily competing order by order well if you come over here before we get into the charts Arbitrage is the simultaneous purchase and sale of the same or similar asset in different markets in order to profit from tiny differences in the assets listed price. So what you're seeing happen potentially is Citadel. I'm going to give an example Citadel, right? This is all speculation because we do think they are short in AMC and it's not that I'm throwing that out there uh, to have random speculation, right? Citadel is known for committing market manipulation and spoofing all the way since the beginning of 2000, right? Selling AMC, for example, at 399 on a lit exchange, causing this short exempt order to pop up, causing these short exempt orders to pop up while simultaneously purchasing in the dark pool at $3.98.9999999999. So that is a very small increment while drastically dropping the price because dark pools don't tend to actually affect the price like the lit markets do. Touching on to the next point, reverse mergers and reverse splits typically result in the change in QCIP, the nine digit identification symbol assigned to the public. This is something that we know, we touched on this before. Once that QCIP changes, the naked shorter has no apparent way to close out naked short positions. No stock under the old QCIP number exists anymore. It will automatically convert to the new QCIP. And quote unquote, aged fails in the sold not yet purchased liability on its balance sheet is also a hiding place for billowing structure reliability hiding place for naked shorts and what we know from here on out is citadel has 65 billion plus in the sold not yet purchased liability sheet with that being said could this be a way out for citadel and other shorts in amc when the qsip number changes uh this is something that we're gonna have to pay attention to so if citadel's liability on their balance sheet goes right after the reverse split from 65 billion to 75 billion heck even more 100 billion then we'll know what happened if it doesn't affect amc's share price we'll know that there was a huge amount of synthetic shares shorted against amc moving on ortex reports a 21.57 percent short interest so a rise in short interest on amc however this morning they were reporting a non-applicable cost borrow average and cost borrow max and same for ape which is something interesting to pay attention to because the fee on stock tracker this morning was reporting a 300 percent plus cost to borrow this is showing that there are no shares for amc it, it also shows that there are no shares available to borrow against amc 
So of course, what's happening? We just went over it. The short exempts. That is what that is what is currently happening. However, they are still paying this high cost borrow fee. It's just weird that Ortex started reporting non-applicable. They did the same thing for Ape as well. Speaking of Ape, 7.37% short interest. And I wanted to talk about this because this is definitely something uh, to pay attention to. So I'm going to pull up the on balance volume indicator real quick for you guys to kind of show what happened. So Ape is trading at around $1.50 and the on balance volume indicator is up to where Ape was at about $6.60. Instead, we're trading way less than half of that. T plus two is what is reported to us for short interest. Therefore, short interest did not clear up and <clears throat> retail or institutions caused this 175% run up because it was not short covering. With that being said, was it retail getting excited to purchase AMC on a discount or is this institutions trying to win over the majority vote to not get the conversion and not get the reverse split to happen? This is going to be interesting to pay attention to to say the least i don't know what else to say here on out it's just very odd that the short interest did not decrease and shorts did not get out of their position when they know that they are going to have to close their position this tells me that if shorts are going to stay in and the stock is going to rise 200 percent institutions are going to try to win that majority vote for the conversion and the reverse split the s p 500 is overall not doing good it's holding this support at around 377 uh, and i think it's kind of forming a ugly head and shoulders here but not necessarily in my opinion the s p 500 is going to fall substantially one of these days maybe down two to four uh, percent and it's going to have a very red day so Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice, but just keep that in mind and keep that in the back of your head because that is something I'm paying attention to going forward. Touching real quick on GameStop, it's saying 100,000 shares available to borrow at a 22% fee, which is not too bad. Uh, the options chain, we're getting slaughtered on 20,000 puts in the money compared to 75 calls and the short exempts are pretty high on GameStop as well. A few pieces of news before we touch on AMC and GameStop's chart. BlackRock CEO and Zelensky shake hands on Ukraine investment. This is a private deal so not much is disclosed except that they made a deal to rebuild Ukraine. BlackRock is going to help rebuild Ukraine. However these institutions and Ukraine you know there was these deals with FTX Congress Senate members and things like that. It's just all a bunch of weird shit happening. Uh, in the background that you know we just get the basic here guys take this uh and and trust me bro that that's what we get uh, that's kind of weird but this is what we know so far the worst earnings recession since 2008 could hit stocks next year according to morgan stanley and credit market cracks widen as distressed debt near 655 billion with rapid interest rate increases dramatically changing the backdrop. Also, China is just in crisis with COVID deaths increasing and just China's not doing good as well. Uh, and Putin is talking about another world war, which essentially could affect the market as well coming next year, which is just, it's just horrible, right? The market going forward is just not looking good. Uh, on balance volume for GameStop has accumulated up the entire time uh, and, and right now, I think GameStop is bottoming out. I didn't think AMC and GameStop would go this low, but in my opinion, GameStop is bottoming out right now. Uh, and it's not a it's not a terrible time to buy more shares or buy calls. And if GameStop and AMC do get pressed into the floor, I, I still don't think we lose. I think this is going to be taken to the streets. It's going to be taken uh, with lawsuits. And essentially, retail is just never going to give up. But in my opinion, guys, it's slowly, slowly starting to get closer to something new. This could be the big dip before the rip. Speaking of that, AMC had a gap fill at $3.18. We broke below four, and I think it's heading for that before a move higher. Essentially, this is what I'm expecting. This is what I'm looking at. And before we close out the video, this is about to end. So these are the last few days that you guys can go do this. In my opinion, this is the best promotion Moomoo gave out. If you use my link pinned in the comments or in the description down below, you will get up to 20 free stocks and a chance to win $60,000 just for downloading Moomoo on your phone or computer and depositing a dollar into your account. Your money is FDIC insured if you do want to deposit more. And this is a very powerful trading platform that you can use. So make sure to go do that, guys. Some of you guys did not make that deposit yet again you can deposit a penny into your account if you want to it will still recognize this as a deposit so make sure to go do that before the promotion ends that is it guys hopefully you found value out of the video or enjoyed watching please subscribe to the channel get us to 10k subs hit the like button and drop a positive comment down below i love you all lottery stocks out